vote, uh, you know, you say it's tainted. Is it? Is his is his pedigree any worse or better uh, than, for example, um, an MP who puts his penis in a glass of red wine and sends it to his mistress, who he has taken on taxpayer-funded trips overseas? Well, with regards to this particular matter, the Premier the other day said that the person uh, was not a fit and proper person. Yeah, but I'm asking you um, your opinion. Look, I think that when you look at our current matters, uh, which are still under investigation around domestic violence, issues of child support and issues of taxation returns, there is a vast difference with regards to those and the other matter that you've actually uh, said. And, of course, uh, action was taken against that other member. That other member wasn't dis- wasn't uh, endorsed and didn't return to the parliament after the last election. But not in the short term. There was no immediate action taken against that MP. Well, there was action taken with regards to uh, that member not being members of committees and those sorts of things. So, OK, but what, well, we can go over what, that, that but, history. So but what I'm trying what to do, can, what, I'm, what, what I'm, I'm trying to establish what I'm is... Saying, what I'm saying here well. is that there are certainly significant matters of degree on where the public actually says that, OK, you're entitled to move on from your past. Maybe you should have disclosed that. We also have issues with regards to the violence, which you get to be investigated. This poor woman, his former wife, reached out and wasn't heard by Labor. Uh, we've got issues of child support, uh, where that was only resolved once it was brought publicly, and also issues that we can only imagine with regards to non lodgement of tax returns, which still have to be filed. And uh, all I'm saying is for the Premier to be consistent, at least until last week, uh, both sides of politics were consistent. The LNP opposition and the Premier, we both said agreed that he wasn't a fit and proper person to be in Parliament. The Premier said she would put her Premiership on the line, said he should resign. He's now not resigning. He's desperate to accept the vote. We're saying, well, if you actually believe he shouldn't be in Parliament, then, in effect, we should be nullifying uh, the contribution of his vote. And that's what we've said consistently all the way through. 